after you are born again the veil is taken off the veil was there you could not even if you try to discover anything as long as you are still in the thou shalt not and thou shalt and in the Old Testament thing, you will never see anything you will not see road because the veil is there it's a veil that's what scripture says right but see after you are born again you are at liberty then what we all with as as we behold as in a mirror the glory of the father but you all with unveiled face you see in order for you to behold the glory of the father what happens you have to have an unveiled face first i hope you're catching what i'm saying so there is no way if you are still in that mindset that haven't you seen how you are teaching somebody with that kind of a mindset but the person can never understand the person is always just arguing with you just arguing hey, what you, ah, i've been teaching you this thing you are still arguing why are you arguing like are you not understanding what i'm saying but it's not their fault it's because they are not they don't have a, they are they are veiled so no matter what you teach they they cannot understand it they cannot discover anything discover to recover they cannot discover to recover hallelujah but we are with unveil- unveiled face we are with unveiled face when you don't think that way anymore when you now accept christ with unveiled face beholding as in a mirror the glory of the lord until you have an unveiled face you will behold it and nothing will happen with it are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory just as by the spirit of the lord so the how do you discover yourself as you look through the word of the lord as you get to know god more you discover yourself that's how you discover yourself remember until you discover yourself you are not headed anywhere you are not sure where you are headed so how do you discover yourself by first of all removing those old mindsets give your life to christ and then start seeing god as you are looking at god you are discovering yourself i explained this morning now let me just say that in case somebody is watching and you are not following this morning if you want to know who you really are won't you go and find out where your parents are from so if you want to know who you are won't you go and find out who god is is this thing is just simple mass because i'm i the the spirit of god gave me that example i didn't plan it it just came that morning right there on the spot i didn't even know i was on a, I was going to do a rotation see i came i entered the place late so if you like wake us up and think that we will not know what to say the word we say will just come out you understand so you want to know yourself physically you go and look for your parents where they are from and trace it all the way and see how you got to hear that one if that one if you want to do that one that was up to you the same way if you want to know who you are in christ who do you find out who christ is because when i tell people you, as you see in a mirror thank god there's a scripture that backs that up because if that there was no scripture this will be a, it will be a contest how can you say if i want to know myself i should go and be looking at god me and god are we mates god is supposed to be almighty god we can never be like him we can never look but thank god the bible says we are like him huh? so so if you want to know who you are who you have become now as a christian go and look at who god is then you can understand who you are